Sabretooth is the yin to Wolverine's yang. Originally known as Victor Creed, this feral mutant's history with that of the Wolverine goes long back. A product of the Weapon X project, just like his arch nemesis, Sabretooth is no stranger to adamantium and other powers that the Wolverine is notoriously famous for. But for several reasons, Sabretooth continues to be superior to the Wolverine in more ways than one, and most of the reasons are anatomical. To understand this better, we have created today's video as we intend to take a deep dive into understanding Sabretooth's anatomy better. Before getting into the content, we would like to make a very small request to our viewers. Please subscribe to our channel, like and comment on our videos, and press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload new content. We would be grateful to you, and we hope to bring you the best nerdy content. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Does he have a healing ability? How does it work? Like Wolverine, who can practically heal himself and continue to live way beyond the average human age, Sabretooth possesses an incredible healing factor. In fact, many of his mutant attributes are a byproduct of his healing factor, namely his immunity against most toxins, diseases, poisons, drugs, and to some extent, fatigue. From his very origin, he boasted the ability to regenerate his body parts, which allows him to age at an incredibly slow rate. We see this in his X-Men Origins comic, where it all begins with his brother, Luther Creed's birthday. Luther has a pie that he refuses to share with his brother Victor. The reason? It is Luther's birthday. The two brothers begin to argue over it and it gets physical. Commotion results in their mother coming in to check what is going on, only to find a bloodied Luther lying cold in the ground. Meanwhile, Victor stands over him and enjoys the pie, all while showing no remorse for what he has just done. A few months later, we see Victor's father pulling out his teeth with pliers. However, the teeth just seem to grow back over and over, much to his father's distaste, who believes that the constant pulling out of the teeth will one day stop the beast regrowth. Soon Victor gets chained in the family cellar due to his devilish nature and his mother cannot do anything against it because she is too afraid of his father. However, Victor soon reminds her that she does not need to be afraid of her husband. Instead, she needs to be afraid of Victor himself. He proves himself right after a few months when he pulls out one of the chains with his strength. To free his other hand which he cannot seem to pull out, he bites it off through his wrist, appearing in front of his parents with a bloodied half arm ready to unleash his berserker rage. He murders his father and eats a pie since it was also the day of his brother's birthday. When we see him again, a few years have already passed. Now an adult, Victor has also regrown the part of the arm he had dismembered from his body. It is around this time that he meets Logan, or the Wolverine, and they begin their friendship, which eventually turns into a bitter animosity between the two. Although they fight a lot, much to Wolverine's displeasure considering he becomes Sabretooth's scapegoat on all of his birthdays, Wolverine never truly manages to win against this particular opponent of his. Sabretooth is just physically superior in every way, shape, and form, even when it comes to the healing factor. Following the Weapon X program that gave Wolverine his adamantium claws, Sabretooth got himself an adamantium skeleton. He is much larger than Logan and has better tenacity in battle. Victor Creed also has this additional adrenaline and unlike Logan, does not have a softer nature. Naturally, he becomes the predator against the Wolverine. What's interesting here is how the Berserker Rage plays in for both mutants. While Wolverine is often famous or infamous for his Berserker Rage, Logan is not always in that zone. Sabretooth, on the other hand, is always in his Berserker mode. Canonically, there is no way for Wolverine to be physically stronger than his enemy of his, because the very reason for Sabretooth's creation was the need to give the Wolverine an enemy who was stronger than him. Can he reproduce? Although Victor Creed is not the type of guy to have paternal instincts, he is strangely a father. While he was in Germany on a mission where he worked as a freelance assassin, he was seduced by Mystique. She posed as a German spy around this time, and the two mutants soon became parents to a regular human boy named Graydon. However, Mystique gave him up for adoption while continuing to keep an eye on him. Technically, Victor Creed cannot reproduce because he is a man. But yes, as we can see, he is capable of having a biological child. Graydon, on the other hand, learned to despise mutants after learning of his heritage. Heritage. Graydon had been abandoned because having a child was an inconvenience. In the fourth issue of the 1993 Sabretooth comics, we see the Creed father-son duo meeting one another for the first time. Posing as a man called Tribune, Graydon attempts to assassinate both of his parents. Sabretooth tries to track him down with a bomb in his body, waiting to detonate. Through it all, he continues to be oblivious to Pilgrim being his son. Victor Creed works alongside his mutant partner Birdie, who uses her telepathic powers to keep Sabretooth's mind calm. He eventually manages to find someone who can dismantle the bomb and rips himself open with his claws to get the job done. When he meets Graydon, the latter makes it evident that he considers Victor to be an ignorant, disgusting monster. But Victor is more interested in learning why he tried to get him and Mystique killed. As Birdie arrives, right then, she uses her telepathic powers to let Victor peep into Graydon's mind. This is where Victor sees a young Graydon who has snuck out of his boarding school to spy on Mystique, or rather his mother. This is also where she tells him that she lied about his father being a bond trader because he was a feral creature beyond his imagination. As Victor comes out of Graydon's mind, the 
latter mentions how he has a thousand reasons to hate Mystique, Mutants, and his own father, Sabretooth. Of course, Victor does not believe that Graydon is his son, at least not until Graydon kills off Birdie because she is his escape valve. He does this to hurt Sabretooth, who is now left alone with his own mind without Birdie to soothe him. As Victor sees the roundabout method Graydon used to get his way, he finally realizes he truly might be his son. How old is Sabretooth? So, due to his incredible healing factor, Sabretooth is obviously way too old despite not looking the part. Canonically, he's over 200 years old. Does he have adamantium skeletons? Yes, as the arch enemy of the Wolverine, Sabretooth is able to stand on top of him due to his adamantium skeleton, but he was not born with it. Sabretooth and Wolverine were captured by Apocalypse, who grafted adamantium into Sabretooth's claws and skeleton while keeping him under mental control. Because the adamantium would make Sabretooth much stronger, having him as a puppet was obviously a great benefit to Apocalypse. However, the upgrades did not last long considering how Victor Creed was defeated by the Wolverine. This led to Creed having the adamantium coating stripped out of his skeleton, leaving him with immense pain. The X-Man Gambit soon became the one to rid him of his misery as he needed Sabretooth's intel and skills to track down Mr. Sinister. Following this, Sabretooth found out about the Weapon X program which gave Wolverine his adamantium claws. With Sabretooth's involvement, he finally got his adamantium bones and claws and hunted down everyone the Wolverine cared about. However, his claws were more animalistic while Logan's claws were more suited for precise attacks. In a way, it reflected Sabretooth's more ferocious and raw nature, contradicting Wolverine's more polished fighting style which was a result of his martial arts training. Does he have superhuman senses? This is a given considering how Sabretooth's mutation is feral and beastly. He has superhuman acute senses that allow him to see across vast distances and with much better clarity compared to the average human. He could even see infrared and ultraviolet lights, which are on the opposing ends of the electromagnetic spectrum. Naturally, he has clear vision even in complete darkness. But his acute senses go beyond his eyesight considering how he has similar features with respect to his hearing. He can hear across great distances and distinguish between sounds that regular humans can not. He can hear the sound of light and pinpoint human breathing within a distance of 200 feet. This is complemented by a superior sense of smell, allowing him to track his targets by their smell just like animals do. The sense of smell also allows him to differentiate between perfume brands even when they are all selling the same scent. How smart is Sabretooth? You would expect a mutant like him to be stupid because he is all about the brash nature and the berserker rage. However, he is quite cunning. He attributes his intellect and wisdom to having lived for two centuries. During this time frame, he has not only gained regular knowledge but also pulled off several feats such as hacking into government databases and stealing classified information. His crimes have led to him getting imprisoned in terrifying prisons where escape is next to impossible. But Victor Creed has always managed to escape without much effort. More importantly though, he has always managed to get under Logan's nerves with his words alone. Is he immortal? So, is he immortal? In terms of living without being killed, he might be, considering how he does not really age and is immune to diseases. However, he does eventually get killed, kind of, by the Wolverine during the Weapon X comic series where the two adamantium-infused mutants find themselves playing for the same team. However, the 16th issue, Blood, Sweat, and Claws, brings us to Logan's birthday. Sabretooth hunts and attacks Wolverine down throughout all of his birthdays as it has become a tradition. Naturally, Logan gets attacked by Sabretooth and the two fight on an airship. Not only does the ship crash, but Logan also enters berserker mode during the fight. With both parties fueled with rage, they continue to tear each other apart. But this Logan is from a different timeline. He has different experiences compared to the Logan who Sabretooth used to attack. During the fight, this Logan finally reveals the fate of the Sabretooth from his timeline. Not only was he dead, but Logan had buried him with his very hands after Sabretooth lost total control of whatever humanity was left in him. This led to Logan finally deciding to take him down and end his life. He was beheaded and his body was chopped into little pieces. Logan then boxed them up and buried them to prevent Sabretooth from regenerating. Okay, so this means that Sabretooth is immortal because he can still regenerate. At this point, it is more like the threat of Sabretooth is over in the world of Old Man Logan. In the Weapon X comic series though, the clock strikes 12 and Sabretooth abandons the fight since it is not Logan's birthday anymore. So the duel ends with no clear victor. Although we know that psychologically, Logan took the cake for this one.
How can Sabretooth be defeated? As we already know by now, Sabretooth can be defeated. Due to him bonding with adamantium, he has many of Wolverine's weaknesses, minus the fact that he is immune to adamantium poisoning. One such vulnerability of this is the Muramasa Blade, which is a sword created with a piece of Wolverine's soul. This unique blade can cancel out Sabretooth's healing factor. Although he is immune to poisons, carbonadium poisoning can reduce his healing factor by a ginormous margin. However, it cannot stop the healing, and Sabretooth can only be affected by it if he swallows something made of carbonadium. An ordinary but interesting way by which common science and biology can make Sabretooth vulnerable is drowning. This is because the action results in the brain's oxygen supply getting cut, but the most foolproof way to defeat him is by beheading him, thus detaching Sabretooth's brain from his body and preventing it from sending the necessary signal to begin the regeneration process. Does he have any biological connection with the Wolverine? Originally, Sabretooth was meant to have an abusive father and son dynamic with the Wolverine. Even if this idea did not fly too far, the two continue to have a predator-prey dynamic throughout their relationship. Although Wolverine himself is a predator, one needs to look at this aspect with reference to the circle of life and the food chain. In the ocean, bigger fishes eat smaller fishes who eat smaller fishes, and the cycle goes on. All these fishes are both predators and preys. Similarly, both Sabretooth and the Wolverine are predators, but to Sabretooth, Wolverine is his prey, and making a prey out of a powerful predator makes Sabretooth even more superior, allowing him to assert his dominance. This is why Sabretooth continues to bully Wolverine, and although he can kill Wolverine, he chooses not to. Why? Because he wants to mess with Logan on a psychological level. But with respect to biological nature, the Wolverine's father is Thomas Logan. Meanwhile, his father on paper is John Howlett. Marvelous Verdict Created to mirror the Wolverine, Sabretooth is very similar to his arch nemesis in terms of anatomy. The difference lies in their psychology, since Logan has a strong moral compass and sticks to his very human principles. Meanwhile, Victor Creed has little sense of morality and has willingly discarded all of his humanity to give in to his beastly nature. With that, today's video comes to an end. What did you think of Sabretooth? Did you enjoy this video? If yes, don't forget to like and comment on this video. Till then, goodbye and have a nice one.